Okay friends, hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna go over our math curriculum. We are going to be using Simply Good and Beautiful Math 2 for my second grader. It comes with the manipulatives in this box right here. The last time I used the Good and the Beautiful Math, it was spiral bound. Now it is not. You can open it up and lay it flat and I love it just like that. It also is perforated here so you can tear the pages out. So if you wanted to do like a binder setup or a folder setup, you could tear the pages out and give the child whatever it is that they need. Love that. Um, you guys already know, the good and the beautiful just works well for my family. It has worked well. We've used other things in the past, it just works really well for my kids. And so it came with a box of manipulatives. Let's go ahead and open it. Hard to do with one hand, but I'm gonna do my best. Okay, so it came with money. Everything is, I haven't opened anything up, but it comes with some money. It comes with these nice, these feel like Monopoly pieces. Um, but these are like game pieces. It comes with these fractions. We did fractions last year, so this will be fun for Jace. And then it comes with some money. So that's what's in here. And then on top of the box is a clock. Okay. So that's what we're using for math. I'm going to open it up for you to give you quick overview I like how it's broken down now you can download this for free on the good and the beautiful's website so if you want to download it you can so again everything lays flat it goes over the table of contents here I just like how they introduce everything so um, it works really well. It tells you the supplies that you'll need for this course, which is the Good and the Beautiful Math course book, which is this, the math box, which is what I just showed you, a pencil, crayons, our colored pencils, and then a white or dry erase board. Okay. So that's what you need. Very simple. It tells you about the lesson. So you have a review box here so that you can review all the concepts before starting the new lesson. If they've mastered it, it tells you to skip it. And then the lesson is broken up into different colors. So whatever is in blue is for you as the parent or teacher to read. And then the black is free to read to your child. So in the blue is your instructions and the black is your in your um, what you were saying to your child. And then it has like once you teach them the lesson, that's what you're saying to them, you're teaching the lesson, then you have independent review. So then the kid will get to go and do their independent review. Let me let me get a bigger page here. And this is open and go. Sorry, I know it's a little. So this is open and go. So let's see. It gives you the concepts that are taught. And I think the concepts, knowing what you're teaching is important. Don't just go into something and not know what you're doing. Like go into it, read about it, read through it, and don't let the first time you read through it be the time that you sit with your babies, okay? So these are tips for the parents. And then if you need extra supplies, it'll tell you. So a bowl and some scissors, which, you know, everybody has a bowl and scissors at home, right? Okay, so remember what we talked about. If it's in blue, it's the instructions. And then in black is what you read to your child. Right here is the review. This is what you want them to have mastered before you move on. If they've mastered it, then you skip this, okay? And then you move on. So then you read all this to them. I actually have these blocks, um, so that'll be good. But it's things like that. If you wanna get those, you can look, at, look ahead and order them. If you don't, that's okay. So again, this is all reading to the child and then this would be independent review. So after the lesson that you teach them, then you have independent review. What I like is that you don't necessarily have to go to a whiteboard and teach them. You can just sit right beside them and teach them. 
I like that the independent work gets them ready to work independently. So you teach the lesson, they do the work. Spelling, 13, 14, and 15. Right there. So yeah, this is, those look good. <laughs> this is level two. So again, you can, sorry, that's my oven, cooking lunch. But you can go ahead and go through, go to the website. I'll have it linked below. Go to the website and you can see to get tested for what grade your child should be at. One thing that I love at the end of the books is that they have like all the things that you should master. Uh, at least they used to have it. Let's see if they still have it. All the things to master before you move on to the next. So it gives you the congratulations after you've completed all the pages there. And then this is a course assessment. So just making sure that they're ready before moving on. This is independent review here. It goes over what you need to say for the course assessment. And then this is the assessment with the parent. So count in 1000s, write numbers up to 900, 900, up to 9,999. Spell the numbers one through 19. Skip count backwards and forwards by twos, threes, fives, tens, 25s, 50s, 100s, and 1000s. So there's more, of course, but these are all the things that they want to make sure your child knows by the end of the course. And you want to have mastered this without any problem. So I love it. Okay, so that's, that's what we're using for my second grader. And then using the good and the beautiful math one with this box and I already had this so that's why it has the rings on the side here I didn't purchase the new one for her because I already had it and so Jace didn't use this when he was doing first grade math so I decided that I was just going to use this for her and so we still need to finish this one math K and once we finish that, then we'll go into math one. So don't be scared to, like if you need to pause to take a break, or if you need to finish, if you need to finish a curriculum before moving on to the next, you don't have to, but you can. I feel like there's so many messages out there like, just don't do it, girl, just move on to the next one. But if that's not what you wanna do, then don't do it. So I wanna finish this. <laughs> and so, I'm gonna finish this without any worries or hesitation and then we'll move on to the next one. So then we'll move on to math one. So this is the box um, for math one here. And then I think this one has a dry erase board on that side. So we have that Let's to see where we are. So I wanted to make sure that I showed you guys everything. This is everything. I've shown you all the subjects. Thank you so much, friends. Take care. Bye.